Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, we're going to be heading out fishing here in just a little bit. Uh, we only have a couple of hours out on the water today, but uh, we're going to make uh, use of it to do the best we can. Hopefully catch a couple of fish and uh, hopefully a couple of fish are going to be big ones. But yeah, I think we have like what, four or five hours max, right? Yeah. yeah, max. So. <laughs> the, the short king step. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, Aaron's filling up a little bit of gas here. I'm going to pull some rods out that I'm thinking I'm going to be starting with. Uh, first of all, um, we're going to start off here with... A little bit of a jig action, of course. You always need to have a jig action going on. Um, hoping we can maybe find a couple of fish up shallow in the trees under docks and stuff like that. That's a little Freedom Tackle structure jig. As you guys can see, the little flatter head goes through timber very well. Grass, not so much. Grass like the other jig, the flipping jig a little bit more. Uh, but structure, definitely the structure jig. I have a chatterbait rigged up on my moving rod here, my 7.2 medium heavy Zodius, but I might go the spinnerbait route today. Um, last time I went fishing, they were a little bit deeper. It might be different now. We had a couple of really weird cold fronts run through, but um, may tie on a spinnerbait just because it goes a little bit deeper. A swim bait or a Ned rig that I have rigged up already down there and uh, see if we can find some fish. Within the like four hours now <laughs> that we have to fish today, so it's definitely going to be crunch time out there. I just put my GoPro on. <laughs> Aaron's already got a bass on the spinnerbait. These fish want nothing. Look, they're not even moving. This is why you don't go fishing after a cold front. Literally. This is exactly why. Oh I have a fish on too. It's a big fish too. Is it? Are you just fighting you hard? <laughs> That's a big one. Three pounds. Good job, Aaron. Thank you for showing us how it's done. <laughs> yeah, I'll go three all day. Beautiful. Back in the water? Back in the water. I guess there's no point in me bringing the Ned rig out. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna give this a little bit, and for some reason, a uh, tube entered my mind. So I might put on a tube here in a second. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Open sesame. Three, eight of an ounce. These guys right here. That's what we're going after because we're fishing deep. I like the light tube heads when we're fishing shallow, but for a stout hook on there, trace of an ounce. Should get the job done today. I gotta pick up a nice juicy tube. Oh yeah. <laughs> River rat. Let's go. Delicious. Small mouth. <laughs> Small mouth on the tube. <laughs> Holy moly. Small mouth ate the tube. <laughs> that is what we like to see right there. Thank you. <laughs> cool. That was fun. That was very really fun, considering today these uh, fish have well, absolutely nothing to do with us. That's 
such a weird bite too. I didn't even feel him taking. He started swimming off with it. There you go, guys. Beautiful fish. Let's take him back. Oh. Jeez. Don't spit it. Long fish. Holy moly. On that tube. 380. Beautiful fish right there. Look how long he is. It's recording, right? Goodbye. Hi, sir. Also long, though. It's like a pot of them sitting out deep here. That's a big one. That's a big one. She's a little hefty. She's got some weight. Four pound average today. <laughs> Holy moly. Ugh. <laughs> oh, barely hooked, too. That might be bigger than four. Look at that. Right in that soft spot. <laughs> Popped right out. <laughs> That's a good fish. back. <laughs> the bass here are so goofy. Literally sitting in 20 feet of water, 17 to 20 feet of water. Um, and on rock. Like, where the small mouth at? We don't know. The large mouth have taken over. So, <laughs> but that's crazy. That's like the average fish. Is that four? That's four, right? So one more and a 20 pound bag of large mouth, so. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are the fish on today? <laughs> I 
like that's a good fish once again <laughs> on that tube righty this guy oh calm down clones, low fours, right there. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful fish though. Long, big head, going to be a tank. One day, feeds up a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. On the two, what can I say? They like the two. We're gonna get wet in about half an hour. That's an awful hook set. <laughs> You're not four pounds. No. I'm pretty certain that's a thunderstorm coming because I feel my hair getting static. <laughs> like I'm 99% sure. Yeah, I think we should go. All right, bye fish. I'll see you next time. One more. Ooh. 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 My tube! <laughs> All right. That is our cue to... Oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah, we're going. We're going. We're going. Bye-bye. Bye, fish. <laughs> That's Aaron coming up. That's the storm. We're just going to beat it, I think. I'll just get off the water. Just going to drive home. All right, guys. That is a wrap for today. Uh, we're heading home now. Uh, we got caught a cut, cut, cut a little bit short um, with that storm rolling through, but I really did not want to be out there if that was going to blow through. Uh, overall, got a pretty good bag of buckets today. Uh, caught them on a variety of different things. Aaron caught some on a swim bait. Um, I caught good one on a jig and a couple of good ones on the tube as you guys saw i'm gonna leave links to everything we use down below in the description but um yeah we're gonna head out here i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one